keep the cold at bay with our winter warmer recipes. All right, brother man. So you've got some onions going there already. Got, got some onions. Yeah. You just brown off the onions, then throw in sure. a bit of bacon there. Yeah. So I mean, so, so I mean, your wife must be loving this. Hey, she's got like a two-in-one special. Like you can make them off and cook at the same time. It's great. <laughs> yeah, no, she uh, she does love it. She's uh, telling everyone that she's the real winner of. Um, Oh. Master Chef. <laughs> oh. And what do you say to that? Is it, ah, is it, so you're she's, not going to say anything else. No, I love cooking now, so she's enjoying that. So oh, that's awesome. Now man. we've thrown in our bacon and a bit of rosemary. All right. So we, it's a lamb ragu pasta. Is this yeah. one of your favorites? This is one of my favorites, especially in winter. Yeah. So you get a whole bunch of boneless lamb in there now. Oh, look at that. Once you've browned off your bacon, then you get, yeah. get the lamb in, brown that off. Okay, any specific kind of lamb cut that you would use or? Just something that's really fatty. Because okay. the fat sort of makes a really Flavor. nice sauce. Yeah. Let's get a bit of salt in. Ah, oh, this is great. You know what? So um, if you want to get your hands on this recipe, like we said, it really is a true winter warmer. You can just SMS the keyword dinner to 33728 and we'll send you everything you need to know. Shopping list, the link to the recipe that you can go follow. Just keep in mind those SMSs do cost one Rand 50 and the T's and C's can be found on our website, expressoshow.com. Okay, cool. So now you've browned off your lamb. Yes. Then we've got a, a little glass of white wine here. It's not nice. for drinking, especially right. not this time in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> you throw that in. Just let it let the alcohol boil off a little yeah, bit. Yeah, exactly. And but then this will also add a nice little flavor to the meat. Adds a fantastic yeah. flavor. Yeah. It goes with that bacon fat and the lamb fat. Oh, brilliantly. you can smell that already. It looks beautiful. Okay. All right. And so now, once that is properly browned off. Now that we've browned that off and we've boiled it off, um, we let the fat render just a little bit. Okay. And then we've got here tin tomatoes. Now, this is uh, this is where the nutrition comes in. So you've got some chopped up tin tomatoes. You throw that in and bring that to a boil. All right. And if you uh, if you want to be sneaky and you want to add in some extra veg, like if you're a dad, I know you're also a dad. Yeah. Sometimes the kids don't want to eat the vegetables, so. This is true. You cannot hide them in there. You can grate in some carrots. You can yeah. whatever you want. You just grate it in, and it hides it quite nicely. All right. Oh, but this does just, look hearty. It really does. It really is. Now. There's two ways of doing it. Okay. Now you can either throw in raw pasta in this and okay. let it boil and cook like that. Yeah, because that will release a lot of kind of juices now. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Or you can, as we've done here, just, yeah. just to save time, you can pre-cook your pasta. Okay. So um, would, would you throw that in there now, or would you? Would no, no. You, this we're gonna we're gonna do separately. Because it's so, okay, so we're gonna cool. dish up specially for you. Yeah. So, so <laughs> thank you. So you're gonna leave that. We're gonna leave uh, this going one. For, for how long would you kind of cook that now? Um, this you probably. I mean, I've taken a couple of shortcuts here, yeah. but this will probably take about 15, 20 minutes, especially once you've yeah. thrown the pasta in and you just cook it until the pasta's um, just, al dente, yeah, if you yeah, want to yeah. be fancy or just <laughs> Al cooked. dente. Okay, cool. Okay, so now what we've done here, you might want to get a cloth for that. There we go. All this good, is all a, a look finished at that. product. Now oh, man, that We've grated beautiful. some Parmesan. If you, uh, if you don't feel like Parmesan, you can just use normal cheddar. It's just not as flavorsome. Yes. And then we throw that in. And then right. just give that a good old mix so it melts into the Oh, wow. It's going to add the, 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 the mix. flavor that the Parmesan really gives. It's yeah. absolutely phenomenal. And then I think what we're going to do now is we're just going to throw this cooked pasta in here as well. And yeah. you can mix that in just to... Give it a good Look, old stir there. I won't lie, you know, diet-wise, I try not to eat too much pasta, but this is definitely a one that I am going to go with this winter. Yeah, you really do need to go on diet, I was gonna say. <laughs> Look at the size of you. It's horrible, I know. <laughs> All right, that's, cool. Cool, that's now, it. that's it. Now we just dish. Are you ready to eat? I am literally so hungry, it doesn't matter what type of dish this is right now, and it's early, I'm gonna devour this. Okay. Keyword dinner to 33728, this really, like I said earlier, a winter warmer by Chris oh. Forrest himself. Dude, thank you so much, man. Well, there's the final touch. Before we go, then oh, you gotta take some more Parmesan, and you then just sort Parmesan. of some shavings over the top, that's a bit thick, but anyway. Uh, you can see this then, man, uh, not only you can cook well, but he's into the finer details <laughs> as well. Chris there Forrest, we thank you so much, brother. Thank Dinner. you so much. To Dinner. 33728, your lamb ragu pasta on your few good breakfast show. Oh, that looks amazing. One way to work on that dad bod, Ewan. Well, listen, we've all had cauliflower served one way or another, but today Chef Clem shows us a new way to dish up this very popular vegetable, and it's promised to be mouth-wateringly delicious. Tune in to Afternoon Express at 4 p.m. on SABC3 and make a cauliflower and Swiss chard bake. Head on over to Afternoon Express on Facebook, like the page, get the ingredients list, and get ready to cook along with the Afternoon Express foodies.